was talking to this lady and she said he does not change he will not change he doesn't want to change we've prayed for him and he doesn't want to change he's not going to change who are you to think you can change him if the holy spirit is failing to change him who do you think you are that you can change somebody hey guys your girl glory and today we're going to be reviewing fascinating womanhood so this is a book that is a life-changing book if you've never read it um, it's a book that teaches women on how to become feminine um, it, it's a book that has helped so many marriages which we're about to break so if this is something that you can you, you like or if, if you are willing to learn this book is just amazing and today I'm going to be doing like the first chapter so each and every Thursday we're going to be reviewing we're just going to be doing chapter 1 up to chapter 10 like the secrets I'm going to be sharing with you the secrets on how to arouse the deepest feeling of love from your husband right so feeling of love so secret number one let's go to secret number one accept him and try not to change him accept his habits his weaknesses accept him just as another human being just like yourself you also make mistakes it's not like you're perfect women they're always right but it's not like you guys are right also right so okay it's not like we guys are right all the times okay so women try to change our we women we try to change our husbands but they don't change it's a very common fault with us women force results in resentment i want you guys to understand this this thing once upon a time i got married to my husband as i got married to my husband he found me being a girl who loved wearing mini skirts i loved wearing mini skirts i love mini dresses this is who i am this is how i was raised so he comes he uses force and say you need to change you need to change you need to stop wearing mini skirts you need to stop trimming your, uh, your eyebrows ah, i told him that baba you're not going to be successful on this one i'm sorry never you're not going to change me you're not going to fuse force i think if there's anything that we can do maybe we can negotiate but not with force so, yeah? never marry someone to change him so before you even marry this person if you see that he's got things habits that he does that you don't like leave him because he's not going to change all right so when you use force force results in um resentment number two withdraw of love lessens his love so so resentment results okay resentment results in withdrawal of love and it lessens his love so he's not going to love you if you feel force on him number two the more you pressure him the more he resists so don't pressure people don't pressure him change change stop trimming your, your eyebrows that same day that's when i'll trim my eyebrows don't use force never never use force on people you will stand resentment results in him spending more time away from home because you are a forceful person if you force there's no love at home besides fighting number three you will seek company of those who accept him that this is where the danger is so i know that a lot of people are like no you guys you we, we women have done everything men they don't want to change no they're not going to change but they're going to look for people who accept them as they are you guys this is this is written by psychologists and people who know men so guys do know, who are you to to argue and say no no listen to what i'm saying all right the next thing um he may just close himself off from you because you're using force so basically just come into this relationship and accept who he is and move on with your life he will be critical and cold towards you because you use force do not use force then the next thing change comes within change comes from within it must be his idea miracles happen when a man feels fully accepted by his partner so he can change it we're not saying it doesn't change he can change if you accept him so basically the trick is accept him then he has got he's going to change all right okay fascinating woman who does not prom promote women who stay in abusive relationships okay he, let's hear what it says about this you cannot compromise your self-respect by living with a husband who, who continues to be unfaithful to you he will lead to, he will lead you to emotional and physical ill health a woman must expect these two things from a husband from the word go you expect support and fidelity he has to be somebody who is very loyal that's that's that, that it, it, it even says these are two god-given right every woman must expect from heaven 
from her husband. <laughs> okay, no man can love a resentful wife. Drain away the passion by forgiving him. You may need to kneel down when you release the resentment. Love will follow back into your heart. Try to kneel down and pray and pray for yourself, okay? So that you are not a resentful woman. Do not be a resentful woman. The next thing, um, personal growth. This book is going to help you with your personal growth. You as a woman and as and your husband also because personal growth comes from freedom complete freedom being clingy too much will make him feel trapped he can't even go to the shop to the shops he want to go for soccer he can't let's go for a girl's trip hi how can i leave my husband stop being clingy be with your husband the last time for example relationships we have our pets they are free spirit but they depend on us i want you to understand this um this is an example that that the book says it says um um for example we have our pets our pets are free spirited our pets can run up and down they can do whatever but they cannot do without us they always come back home because they depend on us we give we give them food we love them we give them shelter that's the same thing allow your husband to go allow your spouse to to be free spirit don't like ah, nobody wants that all right so secret number one is accept him basically secret number one is accept him as he is look to his good side write down list down all the things that you like about him number two don't try to change him three forgive him for his past hurts allow him his freedom so there are two assignments here the first one make a list of all your husband masculine virtues read them every morning and night continue this until you've committed to the memory wake up and say he's masculine he's hardworking. he's he's loving he's this he's that you know accept him list down the good things the positive let's stay on the positive side assignment number two forgive him in your heart for all the times he has hurt you in the past ask god to help you if necessary then the last assignment is say the following to your husband touching me touching him touch him i, I my, my friend said ah, i'm not going to do that i'm not you have to this is the most difficult assignment that i did um you have to i'm glad you you are going to say i'm glad you are the kind of man you are i haven't always appreciated you in the past and i've made some silly mistakes i'm sorry and i'm glad you haven't let me push you around i'm glad you are the way you are from now on i'm going to try to be a wonderful wife for you you can rephrase the statement but that is what you're supposed to say so you guys thank you for watching and uh, please you can share this video and let's next week thursday we're back again with the fascinating womanhood chapter two we are going to be doing the research again we're going to be doing the review again you let me know what you know think of in this in the comment section it's been good it's been good talking to you see you in my next video bye bye